Medicine, law, English, engineering, and all the sciences. Occupations in these fields are some of the most commonly studied for in secondary school. Courses like math, English, and science hold mandatory credits in students' timetables for the majority of their high school career. But what about those students who do not plan on going into those fields? The term starving chemist or struggling mathematician don't exist, so why should they exist for musicians? Music students are the most ill-prepared for continuing into their field when leaving high school. Though through making music compulsory for all four years of high school, students who wish to follow music will be more skilled going into post-secondary school. Outside of just them, all students will also have better test scores and gain a deeper appreciation for music and culture. For these reasons, music should be made mandatory for all four years of high school. When a student is in a science class, they very rarely study the exact same curriculum from the previous year. Yeah, this is the case for most music programs. This causes students to never advance, leaving them in the same level as they were the past year. The reason this happens is because of the dwindling numbers in music classes. If music was made mandatory for all four years of high school, then those who plan on continuing in music would not need to be put in split classes where they are forced to repeat the same curriculum. This would actually advance their skills by allowing them to learn new musical techniques and methods. Because of the lack of advancement in those essential skills, Many music students who wish to continue their path in music stand a lower chance of getting into any post-secondary music program at all when up against other applicants with more experience provided to them by private lessons. The idea of making music a compulsory credit for all four years of high school is commonly seen as irrational and unfair to non-music students. When Pine Ridge Secondary School students were asked about the idea of making music a mandatory course for all four years of school, they said that it honestly didn't sound like a great idea, and that... See, music class should be an elective because not all students who take music necessarily want to go into it. The problem with this mindset in the student body is that the study of music is seen as providing lesser benefits or skills to those focused on the math and sciences. When asked again how that was any different to non-mathematically focused students when the subjects like math and science were made mandatory up until grade 11 and 10 respectively, and that even after that, students were still required to take one more elective science or technology course to graduate, they said, Good point, actually. Something else most students don't comprehend about this issue when asked about it is that the solution of hiring a private teacher is not as simple as it sounds. Not all financial situations are the same, and some families cannot afford to pay for private lessons. Then again, why should that be the case? From grade 9 onward to grade 12, there are multiple levels of math, English, and science, yet there is only ever one level of music. So those who are more advanced get held back by those who are not as advanced and those who are not as advanced tend to struggle to keep up with those who are more advanced. Beyond that, science classes become specified past grade 10, so those who wish to follow a career in the sciences can focus on the field they wish to go forward in, while music only has two variants, vocal and instrumental. The reason that music only has these two options is because of the dwindling numbers enrolling in those classes, but by making music mandatory, the opportunities will increase. When observing mandatory classes like English or History, there are multiple electives that branch out from that original mandatory class, such as Writer's Class, Ancient Civ, American, World, and Canadian past the 1500s history. By making music mandatory, electives made in similar fashion to those and the science classes like Chemistry, Biology, and Physics will become a common thing to help those who hope in following music as a career specify the area of their education. When one thinks of music, the common thought is not that it is a subject that boosts test scores in general, even though it has been proven to do just that. In an article for The Humanist about the importance of music education, it was said a 10-year study which tracked over 25,000 middle and high school students showed that students in music classes received higher scores on standardized testing than students with little to no music involvement. The musical students scored on average 63 points higher on the verbal section and 44 points higher on the math section of the SATs than non-music students. Contrary to popular belief, music is not simply a class about playing an instrument or singing. When studying music, one is always practicing the skills from their English and math classes. Music itself is a process of counting constantly and subdividing in one's head the entire time, while also contemplating the phrasing and intonations of the piece that is being played, which doing so is similar to doing a structuralist reading of a piece of literature. 
by making music a mandatory course, students will continue to practice those skills which are already deemed as important as indicated by their positions as focus points in mandatory classes. When asked what they thought about this, music teachers said, It's honestly crazy that music is not mandatory because kids don't have enough interest in it now. And the kids who do want to pursue a career in music aren't, aren't prepared enough. Music within itself is more than just people playing instruments and singing songs. It is a building block of all culture and society. And for that reason alone, it should be a mandatory course all throughout high school. When observing human history, a similar pattern emerges. That pattern or cycle is the impact that music has on society. The most notable instance of this cycle is in Germany during the Nazi reign. Jazz music was seen as bad because the swinging free attitude in jazz contradicted the Nazi ideal of synchronizing society. But the music led the oppressed people of Nazi Germany to unite not only for the love of the music, but to push forward its advancement in society. The same occurrence happens again in one way or another for every generation since, with rock, disco, metal, ska, hip-hop, and rap. Besides just music's cyclical nature, music also connects the human race. Ever since humanity was able to make music in one way or another, it has been telling stories to comfort and empower the masses. From cavemen singing and dancing to picking their hunt to show off how strong they were and how capable they were of protecting each other, to singers like Bing Crosby and others sing songs like I'll Be Home for Christmas to encourage the people at home and the troops during the Second World War that they will be safe and everything will be okay. A more recent example of music used to unite the masses is the music of NWA and how they voice the class struggle of the time. Music unites the people and defines the generations, so to ignore its importance and leave it as an elective is to neglect human culture. By making music mandatory, music education and appreciation will rise and in turn increase the outlook of music within schools and society. Music stance in the secondary school system is poorly represented and drastically underappreciated. With the current state of music classes, most students planning on following music as their career path are severely underprepared in comparison to their scholastic colleagues who plan on going into any other path. Though, through the simple act of making music mandatory for all four years of high school, music students will be well prepared for studying music despite their financial situation, and all other students will improve their test scores through higher math and English skills, as well as have a deeper appreciation for how society depends and is built around music. For these reasons alone, music should inherently be alongside the other mandatory secondary school courses for all four years of high school.